In today's tense budgetary climate, it's more important than ever to view U.S. and global security strategically. In its second annual Global Security Forum, sponsored by Finn Mechanica, CSIS brought decision makers and opinion leaders together to examine the key challenges facing our world today. Deputy Secretary of Defense William Lynn kicked off the day with a look at the future of war. I'd identify three strate strategic trends that could shape our future national security environment. Lethality, duration, and asymmetry. From the new security dynamic in the Mediterranean to deteriorating U.S.-Pakistani relations, it was a day full of thoughtful discussion and innovative solutions. The other thing to remember is we are still fighting, in many ways, a tactical war to try to transform Afghanistan. We see a nexus between national security and economic security, that to project the sort of power and influence we wish to project around the world, we need to have a strong U.S. economy, and that U.S. economy is dependent in turn on a strong, open, rules-based uh, global economy. So this is a, a historical change. It's coming from the bottom up. It's coming from the people. And uh, I think uh, leaders all over the world, or particularly those who are, shall we say, non-democratic, are really looking over their shoulder and, and wondering, uh, you know, if it's going to if it's going to happen in, in their backyard. And I, unfortunately because of the nature of this being a DOD internal look, I don't think we're going to be able to touch a lot of those things. So what do we mean when we say de-radicalization versus counter-radicalization? Well, what the United States government tends to engage in is counter-radicalization. That is, what you want to do is thwart the Anwar al-Awlakis of this world uh, from being able to convert those inside the United States. So everybody uh, sort of found out that the Arctic is an interesting place. It was. It was always a sort of a major concern for us. The Arab Spring, which creates such fear in Riyadh, and which has unleashed such hopes in Washington, I fear is gradually going to become the Arab Winter. To view highlights as well as full audio and video from Global Security Forum 2011, visit gsf.csis.org.